Hello and welcome to a short demonstration on how to create wild forms on the Wild Knowledge platform. Here we are already logged in. I'm going to choose wild form from our suite of applications. And rather than look at my list of forms, I'm going to choose the create option. We click on there and this brings up the wild form creation tool. We're going to do a very simple example today using three fields, which you can uh, access as a registered user for free. And we're going to make a graffiti recorder. And this will involve a form which will enable you to take a photo of graffiti, rank it and also geotag it so that we can load that data back up to the Wild Knowledge Portal once completed. Um, so the ranking will be from a list of um, options so we can uh, standardize the data collation. So once we've written the description, we're going to choose a small icon to represent uh, this form. And I've got a, a, an image already on my desktop, which I'm going to use. I'll select that. We won't tag the uh, form in this case because the, the type of category varies with user. So we'll simply record that uh, and then we go on to the next stage. So we've written the description of the form uh, and now we're going to add our three fields. Now with Wildform, there are almost 20 options to, to choose from. And the first option we're going to look at is under the uh, accessing device functions and is the camera field. So we simply click on there we can type a small prompt, in this case, camera. And if we wanted to write more instructions, we could do that in the caption field. So we're going to save and add that. The second field uh, relates to the uh, ranking of the uh, data. Uh, and that's uh, with a radio button. And we're going to give that the description of rate it. And you can either type these in individually. I have a, a list I've already uh, created here, a range from great artwork, quite nice to look at, offensive or terrible quality. So we're going to paste that list in. That saves a bit of time. And we've done uh, that list there. And then we want to add our third and final field, which uh, relates to the GPS and the current position uh, of, our, of our location. So we click on the current position. And I'm going to call this GPS just uh, for simplicity. And we're going to save and add that. So now um, on the right hand side, you can see the, the mobile web browser version of this. We've got a location feed coming in and we have our three fields. So we're happy with that. We're going to save it uh, and deploy it to the device. We just need to share this form and publish it. So once you're happy, you publish the form and hit save. So that's the form created. The next element is to um, put it onto the device itself. And here we have the mobile application, Wildform. So at the moment, we have two forms within our account, and we're going to add a third form to that by simply pressing the Update List button in, under the Settings. So you need an internet connection for this to occur. And down comes our form, Graffiti Recorder, coming in. Right, so we're out in the field now, and here is um, someone wishing to collect data on a piece of graffiti. Um, working his way through the uh, form and gathering the three pieces of information, a photograph, a ranking of that graffiti, and also its location. Takes one minute to record the information, and then uh, that data can be either uploaded live or stored on the device and uploaded later. Back on the portal, we have our, our wild form screen and we're going to click on that. And rather than go to create, we're going to look at our existing forms. And here we have the graffiti recorder. So we've uploaded the, the data from the field and we have four records which can be viewed as a report. Um, the various fields are shown here. You can sort each field by clicking on the title um, and you can map the data if it is uh, GPS recorded. So here we have our four records which are based across the city here. And you can toggle between satellite view and um, the normal map view. Clicking on the point of interest will show you the information. Here we have the, the information gathered in the field regarding the graffiti. And there are a few others dotted around the city centre. These are ranked according to um, their quality some being uh, better than, than others. Again, something which depends on your personal preference. So that's the data, how it can be visualized as a report, also as a map. Finally, you can 
uh, visualize data as charts by dragging the um, appropriate category into the uh, graphical interface. And here we have that 50% of the um, records were regarded as terrible and 50 um, as being fairly, fairly decent to view. So that's the whole circle from creating wild form to um, using it on the mobile and loading it up. Thank you.